I'm going to show you how to do curling iron the way it should be used. There are many different ways to use it. You can use it as a wand or you can use it as the classic way. But it's very important to heat up the roots first and then roll the rest. Hot tools and curling iron or flat iron will not add much volume. It's very important to pre dry and uh, blow dry. When you are buying a curling iron, there's many things you need to consider. There's a Marcel, which is the more classic, the ones that professionals like. Then there's a spring curling iron. This is a little easier to use. You need to consider the uh, size of the barrel. It should be from a uh, 3 4 inch to an inch and a quarter. You don't want to make it too big because then the curl won't last. So here I'm using the Marcel, uh, an inch and a quarter in diameter, which is my favorite. I'm taking sections about an inch to two inches. For smaller sections, uh, when you want it to last longer, bigger sections you probably want it to be softer. Down while it's curled. Notice I start in the roots. I want to heat those up first. Otherwise, the curl will only only be on the ends. I like to put the uh, tail comb uh, between the curling iron and the head to so I don't burn it. So here I am using the curling iron in a different way. I use it as a wand. I twirl the hair around the curling iron. So it's twisting it at the same time. It's a little bit of a different effect. like to use both different techniques. And here we have our results. 